Welcome in to the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Proudly presented by Arkansas Tech University, D3 Auto Sales, and Metcalf Trucking and Trailer Repair. Today we're visiting with West Fork Tiger head coach Rodney Self. This pigskin preview is brought to you by the West Fork Touchdown Club. Welcome viewers to an Arkansas Sports Network interview with Rodney Self, the West Fork High School head football coach. Thanks for being with us today, Coach Self. Glad to be here. In August, you'll be lining up for another season leading the Tigers. How many years have you been at West Fork? Take us through your journey to get here. This is my 18th year at West Fork. Uh, will be my 19th next year. And, and um, you know, this is my, will be my eighth year as the head football coach. Um, my journey started in Foreman, Arkansas in 1994. Um, then I moved to, to Murfreesboro. I was there for, for five years and then been to Farmington for five. And I've, I've been here ever since. 30 years total. 30 years total. Wow. Coach Self, tell us about your Tigers. What type of offense do you generally run, and what type of defense will you be playing this season? We're going to base out of the wing T offensively. Uh, you know, we, we are a run first team, and, and uh, we, we want to try to establish the run as much as we can. But uh, we do have a quarterback coming back and uh, he, who throws it fairly well. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll spread you out a little bit here and there. We're going to throw out of the wing T as well. And, uh, you know, we look to try to be balanced as much as possible, but, but we'll, we'll probably throw 18 to 20 times a game, maybe 25, depending on what we're getting. And uh, But, but we want to establish the run as much as possible. Gotcha. Uh, defensively, we're going to be in an odd front, uh, more likely going to be a 3-4 look and, uh, you know, try to really get a lot of pressure uh, with our front three. But uh, we will blitz here and there and, and bring a linebacker on, on some type of a stunt. But uh, we, we really put – uh, put a lot on our front three to try to get pressure on the quarterback. Gotcha. Well, let's dig into that a little bit. What do you see as some of your team's strengths, and what are some of the things that you might be needing to work to improve this year? I think offensively, I think our strengths are our skill guys. Okay. Uh, you know, we got uh, Hayden Favis back in the backfield. Sure. We have, uh, Bryson Whitmill back. Our quarterback, Cooper, right now is back. Uh, Todd Bowen's our tight end. He's back. So a lot of guys there that, that we relied on last year as well as uh, – Sean Swenson played a lot for us last year as a receiver, a wing back. So uh, we feel really good about our skill guys. Um, you know, uh, defense, or I'm sorry, the front line, we lose a lot of guys. Evan Ruiz is the only one we have coming back. So we got to fill some guys there. But we do feel good about the guys we have. We just we've got to get them, uh, learn our system and what we're doing up front. Uh, defensively, we actually return a lot uh, defensively. Dylan Graves played a lot for us last year. Uh, you know, big kid uh, going to uh, anchor the front line, him and Robbie Carroll. Uh, both of them have played a lot. Uh, linebackers, you have Logan Laird back. Uh, he started for us last year. Uh, Todd Bowen played a lot. Uh, Harrison Clower is back at linebacker. Uh, so we feel good about those guys. And Sean Swinson's, uh, Bryson Whitmill, and, and Brad Joel are all back in the defensive secondary. So we have a lot of guys coming back defensively, so we feel good there. Um, you know, but we are going to have to fill some holes and, and we're just going to have to make sure we do that. Gotcha. Well, this season you'll be competing again in the 1-3-A. What's it like playing in such a tough conference? <laughs> well, it's brutal. Every night's tough. And, uh, uh, you know, last two state champions, champions have come from our league. So, you know, they just don't have a night off. Uh, the coaches, we have to make sure we're prepared every night. A lot of the coaches in our league are all really, really good. So uh, you have to be prepared every night. You have to have your kids focused on what they're, they're, they're supposed to do. They have to know the game plan. You have to go in ready to play or, or it's going to be a rough night. For you. Sure. So, um, you know, it's a challenge, but but we wouldn't change anything. Yeah, you want that good competition. Absolutely. Sure. Okay, Coach, we need one good quote, some parting words for us to mull over. What is something that all your years of experience have taught you? Well, you know, uh, my, my years of experience have taught me that, one, we're, we're going to have expectations for our kids to come out and play really hard every night. Uh, we're going to bring, uh, I think, an exciting style of football that, that's going to be aggressive, that's going to be physical, and, uh, you know, we want people to come out and support our kids and, and watch us play and see what we got. Gotcha. Thanks, Coach Sill, for meeting with us today. Absolutely. And thank you for tuning in to Arkansas Sports Network.
Thanks again for joining us on the Arkansas Sports Network's Hometown Sports Football Preview. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Arkansas Sports Network on YouTube to catch more previews and all the latest updates on your favorite teams.